Hi everyone, it's Coco from the AdWords team, and I'm here with John, a product manager here at Google. He's here to tell us about a new feature that will allow you to connect your offline sales information to what's happening in your AdWords account. So thanks for joining us, John, and tell us about this new feature. Thanks for having me. So the name of the feature is AdWords Conversion Import, and it's, uh, it's a new feature that's part of the normal AdWords Conversion Tracking Package. Um, and really, it does exactly what you said. It allows you to collect, connect your online ad clicks to offline sales or, or more advanced online interactions. Mm -hmm. um, and since it's part of AdWords conversion tracking, it, it, it follows the basic models. If you're not familiar with AdWords conversion tracking today, the way it works is uh, someone clicks on an ad, they go to the website, hopefully they buy something from your website, and then a little bit of JavaScript on your website signals Google saying, hey, that click over there, that just led to a sale. Um, and then we give you the reporting, the automation, and everything that comes with it. Now, imagine a different scenario, maybe more of a B2B scenario. Imagine the prospect sees some ads, clicks on yours, go to, goes to your website, and submits a lead. Says, hey, my name is John, here's my phone number, I'd like someone to call me because I might want to buy your product. Um, now, that leads to a phone call, probably some in-person meetings, and then ultimately I probably sign a contract physically with a pen and paper. Yeah. That is the moment. That's the conversion, the deep conversion that we want to get back into AdWords. And we haven't been able to do that until now. Mm -hmm. um, conversion import allows you to do that. And it works on a really simple principle. The way it starts is with every ad click that comes to your site, we pass along a click identifier. And that, that's a unique number that identifies the specific ad that you clicked and the date and the time. Now, if you grab that and stick it in a cookie, later on you can associate it with my information. So here's John, here's his phone number because he gave it to us. And you can stick that in your CRM database or whatever tracking system you have. Now, a few weeks later, when I become qualified or when I actually sign the contract, you can give that ID back to AdWords and you simply say, at this date and this time, this click ID had this type of conversion and optionally, you can provide a dollar value with it as well if you want ROI reporting. Um, and because this is all part of AdWords conversion tracking, you get the same great reporting and automation. So put simply, we give the advertiser the ID and then they give it back to us when something important happens. That's awesome. So you mentioned the B2B example, but are there other scenarios where this is a good fit? Sure. We, we're hearing and seeing a, a good deal of advanced online applications from our beta process. Um, so think of it this way. Let's think about an online retailer, for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they get a lot of returns. Maybe they sell shoes online. Um, and so they want to record their conversions, but they want to record them 30 days later after the, the, the buyers had a chance to return them. So they can only report the conversions that weren't returned. Uh, or maybe they only want to record a conversion if it's from someone who hasn't been a customer before. Or maybe they want to record conversions only when someone makes their second purchase, because then they know they're a repeat customer. Um, there are a whole bunch of different ways you could do this, uh, and we're excited to see uh, what other ideas our advertisers come up with. 